you. Welcome, welcome. Hello, community. I'm Krista Wyatt from timebanks.org. I just wanted to say thank you to the folks that have been with us for a while and welcome to anyone new to time banking and those who join International Time Banking Day for the first time. It has been a warm, sacred experience to meet Time Bank members who allowed us to come in and experience their community. We have learned so much from listening to their stories and allowing us to see their vulnerabilities and strengths. I wanted to share how special it is today to not only gather together, but to celebrate a true hero, Edgar Kahn. Today would be his birthday, and I know he's smiling from heaven. When Edgar started TimeBanks.org many years ago, his drive was to bring people together and remind us that we need each other. Throughout the years, our organization has offered educational resources, workshops, and training. And we had our ups and we had our downs, but we kept moving forward. Today, we are moving forward to actively connect more communities together and learning from each other with more programs and better onboarding for time banks. Thank you for your love and support. We really appreciate you. Sarah? Should I go next? Yep. Okay. Hi, everyone. Yeah, my name's Sarah Bird. I'm um, Chief Exec of Time Bank in UK and just want to say hello and welcome. I can see some time banks from the UK joining us as well um, at this sixth International Time Banking Day. And as Krista said, um, celebrating the achievements and aspirations of time banks from all over the world. I know today we're gonna to be hearing from some countries that I personally have not heard from. So I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I just would like just for a moment, just to give you a really tiny update on time banking in the UK as we enter our 22nd year for us as an organization and Next year, the first time banks in the UK will be 25 years old. So uh, that'll be a big celebrations for us. Um, and just to really say, just from a personal perspective, um, with the time banking, um, with my time banking hat on, that we survived the ups and downs of the economy, um, the COVID pandemic, and we've currently got a cost of living crisis and a strain on public services, as I'm sure many, many other countries have. But this has almost brought a renewed interest from our government and one government official in particular wanted to raise the awareness of time banking benefits to people and communities. And her name is Deirdre Brock, and she's a member of parliament as well as a member of her local time bank in Scotland. And myself and John, my colleague here um, with us today, accompanied her to London where time banking was debated and government asked whether they would support this movement along with our organization to grow more community time banks. And the vote was a huge yes. Um, our next job next month is to go to government with a proposal on how they can help us grow the time banking movement, starting with 100 new community time banks and helping us to develop a national time bank where people from all over the country can connect to each other. So it's a really exciting time for us. And I wanted to just share that with you. Um, as we continue to support, support time banking, not just here in the UK, but from all over the world. And um, yeah, just lastly, a huge thank you to Krista um, for all your hard work, Krista, organizing this event. Um, you really are truly inspiring. Um, so thank you, that's, that's from me, thank you. So um, shall we go on with our first um, guest here, we've got Jahan and Shamila from Social Creds in India. Um, is Shamila here to um, share her yeah. screen? Uh, she's joined, but uh, I think I'll be sharing uh, the video from my screen. So, uh, okay. That's perfect. If you could just say a few words, Shahan, about um, your involvement and um, just some headlines, and then we would love to see your, your video. Yeah. So uh, hello everybody, it's so nice to see you all. Uh, my name is Jahan Arora. I'm uh, recently turned 17 and uh, I'm the co-founder of Social Creds, which is uh, India's first uh, kid time bank. And uh, you know, as a lot of you run uh, adult time banks here in India, we've decided uh, you know, that kids deserve a chance at time banking uh, as well. And uh, we plan to have the largest kitty time bank in India. And uh, recently we have hit 100,000 hours and uh, we really just wanted to show our journey along the way with you guys. So I'll, um, the video will explain a bit more about what we do and what we've been up to the past year. So. Thank you, Jahan. Can you guys see my screen? 
Yeah. Yeah. And then the co-founders were surprised. Over the last three years, we've compiled and done huge amounts of research on what it is to do a time back through our experiences. By the help of Martin Simmons, I decided to compile all of this into a research paper that talks about how anybody can start a time bank and run it successfully, and how it's a time bank for adults is different from a time bank for kids. The fact that we're all assets, anybody can do work, no matter your social status, your class, or even your age. Bridging communities, which means instead of tapping into a new community, you could go into already existing ones, such as school, housing, or online, redefining work, which is the concept that any work you do, regardless of whether you get paid or not, should be recognized. Because there are millions of people working unpaid today who don't get recognized for the brilliant stuff they do. And lastly, probably my favorite segment, the social trends journey and how we did it. Uh, so what are some takeaways that you have from uh, social trends as a timeline? Social trends is, is, is an ultimate to actually work with people actually find the young people have particular needs. India has particular ways of operating to the industry. We tapped into that, found out what we were, into what's been good in the past, transferred into this whole new idea of time banking. It's very impressive. Advice for me, uh, and could tell the camera as well, that I can continue on. Keep doing what you're doing, you've done it so well. <laughs> that is constant to your own action, and that's so much. Thank you so much. Jahan, as the co-founder of Social Threads, what does setting things in motion mean to you? It's a very important concept to us. Uh, Edward Khan is a big problem in it. You might have a program that's amazing and has a lot of potential that could benefit somebody. However, you just might not have the time to continue doing it after a point. Daniel Garofo was an artist who was adopted at 11 years old. He realized the only picture he carried himself was when he got adopted. He wanted all other artists to have tried to manage it themselves. So he went to orphanages in Asia and he took pictures of the, the artists in case the children were thrilled with the child who managed the work. Um, he thought I loved this program, so we interviewed Daniel Garupo and we asked him about how we could continue this project. He had done around 870 photos. And we want to do five class photos. So I asked my colleagues and family and conducted these in five steps. We tried to make photos of this thing using the Nissan scanner. But we realized these photos are not perfect. We decided to use the Nissan scanner. We want to work with some job schools, orphanages, community schools, etc. Soon after funding got over, we asked different corporates for funding. Funding moves to corporate applications. Annie and Mika, did a lot of people join you and support you? They were inspired by Pichini? Yes, actually many moms who adopted orphans went back to the orphanages and took pictures of the children there so that all the orphanages could have their children please. Pichini has been taken up by Tiny and Mika when it was originally started by Daniel. Hi, my name is Johanna Rura and I'm the co-founder of Social Threads. The whole reason I started Social Threads is to inspire other young leaders to have the launch pad and kickstart their own programs. We aspire to have 20,000 kids on our site, over 1 million hours clocked in, and have all kids believe in themselves and the fact that they can do whatever they want once they put their mind to it. So you must be wondering, what have you been up to the past year? Well, at the end of 2023, we've hit over 125,000 hours with a goal of 1 million. We created over 100 projects, 325 events, and even hit more than 8,000 kids over the past year. Our blockbuster program, 1 Million Meals, which aims to feed 1,000 orphans every day, has crossed the half a million mark with over 6,000 kids donating and receiving, as well as more than 20 schools participating in the program. National Fair Kids has collected more than 8 tons of dry waste, 
30,000 items of clothing and even 3,000 books for the library class program. Hi, I'm Dada. I'm 14 years old. I'm part of Cash Master, and I have my own project which is called Note Quality, where we take old notebooks, we tear out the onions pages, and we make new notebooks from them. Till now, we have recycled and made about 1,000 new notebooks. I did them to two orphanages, which is High Wedding and Spartana. Making programs extremely easy so that children want to come back. Once you make something easy, children think, oh, you know, I can do this. And they are then encouraged to come back and participate again. As a time, we want to make each hour count. So every time we do an hour of work, it's clocked in into our site, and it can be then consolidated into a certificate, regardless of where you did the work, because every single hour counts. Age-appropriate social giving, which is a big part of what we do. We have age ages, such as two to six, which is extremely simple participation where they get hours for simple works, acts of kindness. Six to 10, where they participate in more complex programs and they do more work. Hi, we are the children children. We strive to support underprivileged children of all ages. Every month we go to this orphanage called the Nancy Children's Children. So far, we have gotten the girls a water filter, rain jackets, furniture kits, and so much more. In fact, for Christmas, we even got them. Cheers. I'm Anisha and I'm 11 years old. Together we started a social care project called Sip and Snap in which we make homemade food. Hi, I'm Dia and I'm 12 years old. Sip and Snap also did a lucky dip in which we funded uh, 10,000 meters. I'm Anushka, 15 years old, and I did the Freedom from Hunger program where we raised 65,000 meters for orphans under the One Million Meals program. I'm Monica, and I'm a part of Social Credits, where I run the project Library Credits. We built multiple libraries out of second-hand books. Children come together in a program. They're able to socialize, work together, and make connections that will make them friends for life. Something that really inspired me was a personal experience I had on a school trip. I had just started my Social Credits club in school. And we had gone on a trip to Snehagra, which is an HIV positive center. And we had seen that they didn't have any food because they didn't have funds due to the COVID crisis. So we banded together a bunch of social creditors, talked to some CEOs of companies, and managed to raise an entire year's worth of food for Snehagra. <laughs> And as we have an expression in time banking about go where the energy is, and this is where the energy is in time banking these days, getting young people, which is the people we want more than anybody else, to be involved in time banking. So time banking's future just depends on people like me and doing our Twitter and saying, a real privilege to be here in the day. Thank you so much. We've created a website that is friendly to anybody in any part of the world. So sign up now and create your programs and join the movement because children in social threats might be the future of time banking. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and got a gist of uh, what we've been up to for the past year. Uh, I'd, I'd uh, be open to taking any questions and uh, as you can see, my crew is there in the, uh, on the other screen. Uh, they, you can ask them questions as well if you'd like. So did anyone have anything that they wanted to ask Jahan? Yes. I would um are you working with or willing to work with people in the US? Uh well a, definitely. Yeah, sorry. Continue. I have a Zoom host account and I also have a Clubhouse room. Um and those are that's free apps and my Zoom is free for people to use. So would you be willing to um, let the children earn uh, some credits and the adults earn some credits by working online with me? Definitely. Uh, we've actually been expanding to other countries. I've talked to a few of my friends in Singapore, in Dubai, and uh, we're slowly building the community kids of kids there as well. So I'd love to take down your contact and uh, we could definitely get it started because our website is, you know, not just focused on India. We 
uh, almost anybody can log in and uh, you know start earning their creds on our site. I'll put a survey link in the chat because I use Survey Monkey kind of for infomercial uh, and connection. Then you guys can tell me your best contact time and all that. So I'll put that uh, survey in the chat. That'd Thank be you. great. That was wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. I was an old school nurse, so I have a real passion for helping children to be involved in, in productive things so they don't become sitting ducks for... Um, early sexuality, getting that HIV virus, or for getting a hold of drugs, being used as drug runners. Thank you. Right, yeah. Uh, we started during COVID, and, uh, you know, our whole thing was to get kids to do something, you know, that they, uh, you know, they never done before, and something that would get them engaged and excited about, you know, ra uh, rather than in anything else. Are there any other questions? I'm uh, very open to uh, answering anything. Yeah. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, Hello. I can hear you. Um, um, woo. Uh, is it possible to get a video clip of just your presentation? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I could, uh, if you could give me your uh, contact information again uh, through the Zoom chat, uh, I could just, we have a clipping of that uh, on its own. And uh, I guess that would be easier to... Uh, Look at the reason I'm asking is um, a young lady who supervises the um, the student volunteer heroes at the Houston Food Bank. She just recruited me to mentor the students who are volunteering at the Houston Food Bank. All I have to do is show them this video and my work will be done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. So uh, you said the Houston Food Bank? Yes. Right. Okay. So uh, yeah, I'll send you my email through the uh, personal chat and, uh, and I can uh, get that sent across to you. Okay. So I struggle with technology. So I hope somebody <laughs> figures out, helps me figure out what that means. I'm going to get a message from... I, we, we we can we can send Jahan's contact details on to you uh, yeah. in East Houston. Don't worry if you don't get it through the chat. We can do that for you. Okay, you. Rosemary, you had a question. Yeah, um, do you actually work in schools in India? We have a problem in England that our schools are like becoming more and more like fortresses. Well, they are in the cities, and it's quite there's all sorts of rules and regulations. But is it easier in India to actually go into a school and work with children? Honestly, uh, it's we at the start we did have a very big challenge. Uh, a lot of the kids you see in the other screen are all from uh, the place where I live, our community. So uh, originally schools were a big difficulty for us, but uh, that meal program that you saw that has actually helped us get into schools because of how easy it was to do. So once we showed the schools that you know it's not really disrupting the lesson time, and you know charity is actually something that builds the kids' uh, interest because in India there is this stigma you know of giving back, in especially in government schools. So we first targeted international schools, and that has worked out very well for us. So uh, we do uh, we have about twenty schools, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, including my own school, everyone is slowly becoming more and more open to uh, uh, time banking and, you know, social work. Because we position it so as social work as well, they're all very excited. Well, thanks. Yeah, that's encouraging. Yeah. yeah. Another thing is that uh, we also protect the children's personal in information because that is pretty sensitive, in, uh, you know, stuff uh, that the schools are not really willing to let go of. And uh, we kind of give the, uh, on, our, on our website, we have something called Substack accounts that allows the student's identification number. I know this might be a bit of a technical talk, but basically allows all of the rights uh, of the student's information to be held with the school. And uh, so we're not stuck in any uh, you know, legal problems and uh, we're not dealing with the kids' personal information. That was a really fantastic way to start. Thank you to Jahan and all of your colleagues at Social Creds. So if you can help, uh, we uh, would like to move on to the next one, okay? Thank you. Thank, thanks, John. Um, so if Krista does one of the Spanish time banks, that might be, yeah, cool. Okay. 
I love it. Right. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. We needed good energy, right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, Julio, are you uh, are you ready? I see you. ¿Se me oís o no? ¿Se me oye? Yes. Porque tiene que... se me oye y se me traduce. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, ok, perfecto, vale, vale, muchas gracias. Ok, Krista, venga, pues empiezo si queréis. Vale, primero, ok, primero quiero agradecer a Krista, a Krista Guaya de Time Banks USA y a Sarah Bird de Time Bank in UK, también a John Beat, porque fueron las primeras personas que vieron que esta oportunidad de estar juntos, tantos bancos de tiempo hoy, más sería muy enriquecedor para todos. Y por permitirnos colaborar en este evento tanto a nosotros como a nuestros amigos iberoamericanos. 
sobre todo a Esquel en Ecuador y la red de bancos de tiempo portugueses. Además de los cinco bancos de tiempo que hemos invitado hoy a participar. Mi agradecimiento también a Christine Gray, viuda de Edgar Kahn y activista de los bancos de tiempo. Christine Gray, Christine Gray, que es quien más nos ha animado a participar en esta actividad. También quería saludar a Martin Simon, que ha estado muchas ocasiones en España. Okay. Vale, bueno, soy Julio Gisbert, presidente de la Asociación Iberoamericana de Bancos de Tiempo. Somos una organización joven, pues nacimos en el año 2019. ¿Se está traduciendo? Continúo, ok, vale. I'll continue. Nuestra sede central está en Madrid so, y tenemos our headquarters are in Madrid. Um, en Cataluña, we have some Ecuador, branches in Catalonia, and Ecuador, Portugal, México, Portugal, y Mexico, and Argentina. Con más de seis nacionalidades, With over six nationalities, different nationalities in our board of directors. Nuestro objetivo principal our es main objective los de tiempo, is to promote the time banks, países de habla española y portuguesa. Este es nuestro cuarto año celebrando el Día Internacional de los Bancos de Tiempo. This is a four year celebrating this. Y en esta ocasión lo hacemos con bancos de tiempo de otros países. And now we're doing this with time banks from other countries. Aprovechando la tecnología que nos permite 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 la que nosotros queremos que se siga repitiendo. That we would like to be repeated pues el movimiento de los bancos de tiempo es ya un Since fenómeno mundial. So Como así lo comprobamos en el mapa de bancos de tiempo que mi organización creó el año pasado. Y donde aparecen más de mil bancos de tiempo activos en todo el mundo. And when we have over a thousand, uh, active time banks around the world. Hoy hay además preciosos ejemplos de bancos de tiempo que están actuando Now we have like a very beautiful uh, time banks that are acting. De una manera efectiva con los jóvenes, con mujeres emprendedoras. Effectively with young people, uh, entrepreneuring, uh, entrepreneurs. Con personas mayores, con inmigrantes. Elderly con people, immigrants. Con discapacidad. Uh, disabled people, people with disabilities. Y les están haciendo la vida mucho más feliz y plena. Uh, and it's making their lives easier. Que es en definitiva el objetivo de nuestros bancos de tiempo. Which is definitely the objective of our time banks. Quizás es el momento de crear una red internacional de bancos de tiempo. Maybe it is the time to create an international uh, network of time banks. Desde, desde donde podamos hacer campañas a nivel mundial para darnos a conocer. From wherever we can start campaigns, I mean, around the world to start to get to know, I mean, get people to know us. Por eso y porque creo que es una buena iniciativa, That's... lanzo ahora esta propuesta a los demás compañeros. And given that I think this is a great uh, initiative, I put, I put out, you know, this proposal to all of you, my fellow uh, colleagues. Compañeros de redes nacionales e internacionales de bancos de tiempo. International uh, colleagues of networks of time, time banks. No me alargo más porque esta es una celebración para escuchar a nuestros bancos de tiempo hoy presentes. I won't take any, any, any more time because this is a celebration, you know, to celebrate the time banks present right here right now. Mi cariñoso recuerdo a Edgar Kahn, al que pude conocer en Madrid en la celebración de nuestros 20 años de bancos de tiempo en España. I remember Edward Kahn, uh, who was the que pude conocer aquí en Madrid I, en la I got to meet here in Madrid. de nuestros 20 años de bancos de tiempo en España. When we celebrated the 20th anniversary of the time banks in Spain. En el año 2019. In 2019. Y mi agradecimiento por todo su trabajo y su equipo. My, 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 my gratitude to all his work. Okay. Paso la palabra a mi compañero de junta directiva, Fernando will, Fister Fabra. I will pass now uh, the word to Mr. Fernando. Uh, he's one member in the board of directors he wants to share. Que quiere compartir unas palabras con todos los presentes What's y que fue también uno de los promotores del evento de hoy. Wants to share a few words with you and he's one of the people who promoted this event. Fernando es responsable del Banco de Tiempo de Sitges en he, Barcelona. He's responsible for the Time Bank of Sitges in Barcelona. Y es un activo promotor de derechos sociales en Cataluña. 
and he's a, an active mundo. promoter of social uh, rights in Catalonia and all around the world. Especialmente dedicado a los derechos del colectivo LGTBQ+. Especially dedicated to the um, to the movement of LGBT+. Uh, okay, Fernando, es tu momento. Gracias. Fernando, es your time. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to say why we're waiting for on for uh, Fernando. Esperamos a Fernando. Is that this is exciting to see all of us together? Um, muy emocionante verlo, level, vernos a todos a un nivel Ohio internacional. To Spain, desde Ohio hasta España. To Korea, this de Cor is, this Corea. Is exciting. I'm just so fortunate. Thank you so en verdad, much. Estoy, soy, soy muy agradecida y soy muy afortunada. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Krista. Uh, greetings. Uh, Muchas gracias, Krista. Let me say, Sal saludos. Uh, when we were asked to help out in setting up a time bank at Sitges in 2011, bueno, nos que what in those values we had learned from a civil hemos aprendido. activist called Edgar Khan that hemos aprendido so mucho de Edgar Khan. marked our students' life in California in the 60s. Dejó muchísima marca no huella en California en los 60s. Solid, social, Esto es una, una estructura sólida, project. solidaria y un proyecto de inclusión. Hemos hecho el mayor esfuerzo para poner los well, valores de Edgar en nuestra estructura. And persons were in the center of all civic social action. Y, el, y el, te puedes usar una moneda como el dólar. We had the honor of hosting Europe's honor de... first active-based community development meeting, de... where time esta, esta reunión, proposed as a tool for community la, building. El banco del tiempo como una como, como una herramienta. Sitges was the unique place Sitges fue el único lugar multiple cultures and age groups que unió a varias culturas de esta interacción no discriminatoria. On the right track towards transverse social inclusion. Y, y trabajar mucho en la inclusión social transgénero. With over a dozen Nationalities interacting at any given time, and the Más una docena de nacionales interactuando through a parallel volunteer setup, and also a social and labor inclusion enterprise for job seekers. Bank del Temps de Sitges was converted into the link between fully fledged volunteers and those who sought a job according to their talents. Se convirtió en un centro donde toda la gente que buscaba trabajo de acuerdo a sus a talentos. Since then, the Sitges model el modelo de Sitges has inspired more than one town in Catalonia with our strategy. We have dubbed this strategy a social, solidary, sustainable, transverse, transparent transformation for intergenerational, intercultural inclusion. Triple S, triple T, triple I. Probably difficult for the translator to follow. With uh, over 400 registered members and over 100 actively participating year round, the Sitges Time Bank has participated in international events on human rights in diversity, with a strong presence on women's rights and LGBTQ plus freedom of gender identity. Since our first year, we commenced operating Puente Arco Iris with Latin American countries to accompany would-be LGBTI migrants and asylum seekers in their legalization procedure in Catalonia and other points of Spain. Last year, we launched We Bridge to Europe, an expansion of the Latin American setup cover persons demanding said accompaniment from Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. In the meantime, in 2019, Encouraged by our time bank colleagues from Barcelona and Madrid, we joined the Asociación Iberoamericana de Bancos del Tiempo. Here we are today, some of us sharing our experiences with colleagues from the United States, United Kingdom, 
Asia and Africa. May I add, and this I would like to emphasize, that the Avera American Network, the first twinning that took place two years ago, precisely was between Sitges Time Bank and the Bancos del Tiempo de Ecuador, managed by Fundación Esquel. The Equatorian Time Banks now host a trans andes time banking network in the making. Surely our colleague uh, Beto Salazar from Ecuador can better describe the setup. Likewise, it's worth mentioning that our volunteer time bank and enterprise setup is linked to Fundación Esquel in a, yet another worldwide project in which we both participate, the Open Government Partnership founded by President Obama over a decade ago. Soon we hope to carry forward two other twinnings, and one would be with our colleagues from Mexico, Yali Lombera, who is with us today as well, and with whom we already work on women's rights and rural social inclusion. And hopefully with Youth Time Bank, with Jerome from the United States, with whom we have started to establish a bridging attempt for African art talent towards Europe through Sitges. We also must mention our already working relationship for the past decade with Graal, our long time time exchange partners in Portugal. We honestly believe that there should be no more throwaway people in any, any part of the world and Sitges is the safe haven we propose to bridge them through to other parts of freedom and democracy in the European Union. In this manner, we pay tribute to what we learned from a great man, Edward Eskan. To further consolidate achievement of common goals in a common global time-centered cooperative strategy, we invite you all to participate with us in the Sitges Designed Hubs time quality hub and social inclusion hub, wherein we put more emphasis on the quality of life as per time in dedicated to activities rather than to mere monetary wealth in dollars, pounds, or, or uh, euros. We further propose that each person respect and be respected for what he or she stands for as a human being, for the free exercise of fundamental rights and his decide or her decide identity, culture, religion, social, economic, or educational status without any discrimination at all. Our time banking day, this day, Edgar's birthday, let's take a pledge to build stronger worldwide ties towards social justice and equal rights for all. We open our arms at Sitges and Association of Vero Americana to embrace you all our time bank family across the seas. Thank you. Thank you, Fernando. I stand behind that pledge. Thank you. Thank you, Krista. Love to see you here soon. I'm packing my bags as I go. Let's do it. <laughs> So was there any um, one else, um, Julio, for, for, from your side that wanted to say anything or a video show? I actually uh, have a question um, here. Someone's got their hand up. Uh, BJ? Yeah. Sí, Fernando, in que ciudad uh, in Portugal? Donde está? In España. Está en España. In Spain. No, he has one in Portugal as well, yes? Graal. Graal is our uh, member Graal? from Portugal. Okay. Graal. Yo fui a he can send and... you all the tale. Okay. Que bueno. Que bueno. <laughs> also, thank you. Bueno. <laughs> Un gusto. Saludo a to saludos a todos. It's a pleasure to be here. Greetings to everybody. Okay. Eh, mi nombre es Beto Salazar. Yo soy eh, director ejecutivo de... Fundación Esquel. I'm Pedro Salazar, I'm the executive director of Fundación Esquel. Uh, y también coordino la red de agencias de bancos de tiempo de Ecuador y la, y la región andina. And I also coordinate the network of time banks in Ecuador and the Andean region. Eh, para nosotros eh, eh, 
eh, desarrollar un banco de tiempo, eh, lo hicimos eh, desde el año 2016. We have been developing this uh, time bank uh, since 2016. Eh, luego de que desarrollamos una investigación en cinco barrios de Quito. After we uh, ran a research, uh, we did it with some research around uh, five neighborhoods in Quito. Eh, donde preguntamos a, a las personas qué hacían eh, para usar su tiempo libre. Well, in which we asked people what they did in their free time. Eh, las respuestas fueron para nosotros eh, decisivas y muy interesantes. The answers for us were decisive and very interesting. Eh, lo, lo importante que descubrimos es que las personas se quedaban en casa. The most important discovery we made was that people stayed home. Porque no tenían opciones en sus barrios de actividades donde puedan compartir conocimientos. Because they didn't have any activities in their neighborhoods in which uh, they could share their knowledge. Eh, eh, que no sea a través de, de medios o dinero. Which were not through any kind of means or money. Eh, esto nos llevó a pensar que era importante recuperar eh, los espacios de relación entre las personas. This led us to think that it was important to recover these interaction spaces between, among people. Y en ese marco decidimos organizarnos en ocho barrios de Quito. And with an idea, we decided to organize in uh, eight uh, different uh, neighborhoods in Quito. Y nuestro objetivo principal es hacer que, era hacer que la gente se encuentre. Our main objective was to make people meet. Y cuando la gente se encuentra, ocurren cosas buenas. And when people meet, good things happen. Y lo, lo más importante que ocurrió fue que... Eh, se empezaron a desarrollar, la gente empezó a compartir sus conocimientos en talleres. Luigi. Ha aparecido ya la traducción, mágicamente. Uh, in, uh, uh, ok. It's, it's possible to, I think it's possible to listen, Luigi, in the... Uh, inter in interpretation in channel in channel uh, Spanish or uh, yes. I think. yes ahora ya está la opción ahora sí que uh, yes, yes we have the option now no we have the option now for everyone yeah. eh? in Spanish and English so yes. great okay yeah. okay uh, entonces era importante so it was important uh, Generar estos to generate these spaces uh, to meet. Y a partir de eso tuvimos And from en that meses, moment, we had in six different fronts, mil personas, a thousand people, compartiendo sus conocimientos, sus habilidades en talleres. Sharing the knowledge and skills in different workshops. En el año 2016. In 2016. Nuestra idea era estar en un barrio. Our idea was to be in a neighborhood. Pero crecimos tanto we grew up so much, que eh, nos, eh, las agencias de Banco de Tiempo de Ecuador, agent, the time bike agencies in Ecuador se trasladaron a cinco provincias moved to five different provinces, y teníamos alrededor de 3,000 miembros intercambiando eh, simultáneamente a lo largo del, de, de ese año. And we had around 3,000 members interchanging information simultaneously in that year. Eh, luego de eso, nos encontramos con Julio en el 2017. Then uh, we, I, I met Julio in 2017. Y en, y, y en una reunión en Ecuador, And eh, in, in a meeting in Ecuador, empezamos a soñar con la agencia iberoamericana, con la Asociación Iberoamericana de Bancos de Tiempo. We started to dream of the Iberoamericana Association of Time Banks. Eh, para, para finalizar, digamos, yo creo que las, los retos más importantes que atravesamos to finalize, to finish, I think that the, the, the most important challenges that we're facing es, eh, fue en la época de pandemia cuando well, tuvimos que convertir nuestras agencias where, uh, uh, the most difficult times were during the pandemics when we had to be, uh, transform our agencies en agencias virtuales and virtual, into virtual agencies 
Y hoy estamos tratando de recuperar el dinamismo que teníamos ese dos, el, el 2016. And now we're trying to recover that dynamics that we had in 2016. Reactivando esta presencia de las agencias de bancos de tiempo en territorio, es decir, en espacios territoriales específicos. By improving the, the, the presence, you know, in specific spaces of these agencies. Eh, nosotros tenemos una, un compromiso con, este, con esta iniciativa como Fundación Esquel. We have a, a commitment with this initiative as a Fundación Esquel. Porque consideramos que un banco de tiempo es una posibilidad de cambiar vidas. Because we consider time banks as a possibility to change lives. Porque una persona que llega a un banco de tiempo y tiene la posibilidad de compartir su experiencia because a person who gets to a time bank and has the possibility to share their experience revalora su conocimiento y la experiencia que tiene es una experiencia de vida revalues their knowledge and the experience they have is a life experience por eso trabajamos ahí y estamos contentos de compartir con ustedes este espacio that's why we were here and we're so happy to share this space with you y me sumo a la a la invitación de Julio de poder trabajar en función de constituir una una red global. And I join Julio to say that we're, we're looking forward to making or creating a global organization. Sí. Muchísimas gracias. Un abrazo a todos. Thank you so much. Hug for everybody. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, Beto. Jerome, did you have a question? No, I was just uh, congratulating and clapping that's okay so <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i think everyone's happy that i finally found the button of in, uh the interpretation too <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it's good it's there's good. too many buttons there's too many buttons i'm like which one which one <laughs> but anyway thank you thank you for your patience this is us international, right? We're we're doing the best we can. I hear somebody. Yes. Yeah, it comes now a, a, so a time bank from from Ecuador. Yeah, I don't know where 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 are they. Okay. I don't know, but hello. This is in Spanish now. No, yes, but from Ecuador. Okay. So I pushed the right button. We're good. I don't find I I don't find them. I see them. Stephen. All right, Sarah. Yeah. Who do we have up uh, next, or are we waiting for? Or Mexico first? No, oh, it's okay. Mexico. Mexico? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mexico. Yali Yali Lombera from Mexico. Qualcan Time Bank in Mexico. Yali, hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. There you are. Hi. Hi. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Funciona okay. la traducción? Funciona la traducción? I don't know the translator. It's okay. In English, it's okay. Is it? Yeah. Are we, are, is the English okay? Uh, yeah. Are so we la, la traducción en inglés está bien. Okay. Um, Krista, si no funciona, me dicen. Voy a hacer pausas if, para. If, if, it's not, if the translation is not working, ¿Cómo please están? Let me know. Estoy yo muy emocionada. I por am estar very excited to be here with you. Este encuentro, in celebrando this gathering, celebrating eh, los años de bancos de tiempo. The years of the time banks. Eh, desde México, From tenemos Mexico, un banco de tiempo. We have a time que bank that is called. Can en Welcome. lengua maya, that in Mayan, a buen means. tiempo. Good time. Nosotros nacimos con la pandemia. We were born with the pandemics. A partir de la necesidad, necessity of, cuando vimos when, que se cerraron when we saw empleos, that jobs were closing, que despidieron mucha gente, and people were fired. En varios trabajos, many, many que mucha jobs. gente muy cercana falleció. Many, be, be, y entonces fue, away. digamos, el motivo so it was the reason, the main reason why we started to work the time banks. Mm -hmm. 
buscamos en, en internet a ver si había otros We looked up on internet. en México y no encontramos más que uh, dos. We didn't, we just found two. En ese momento. In that, at that moment. Uno en Yucatán. One in Yucatán. Mérida, Yucatán. Mérida, Yucatán. Y otro en la Ciudad de México. And another one in Mexico City. Pero no trabajaban en ese momento por lo mismo, por but, la pandemia. But because of pandemics, they were not working. En la búsqueda encontramos a la Asociación Iberoamericana de Bancos de Tiempo. In search, so we found the, in the Iberoamericana Association of Time Banks. We found them. Y como no teníamos experiencia, uh, and since we had no experience, les pedimos asesoría we asked for para poder formar nuestro banco de tiempo. To be able to uh, build up our own bank time bank. Y muy gentilmente, Very generosamente, kindly. nos llevaron de la mano hasta they, que logramos constituir nuestro banco de tiempo. Very kindly, they led us to, to open on to start our own time bank. Empezamos a participar en las diferentes actividades que organizó to participate la Asociación in the different activities de Bancos that de Tiempo. Uh, promoted. Ahora Now, hemos estado impulsando nuevos bancos de tiempo new time banks. en la zona sur de la Ciudad de in México. The uh, zone of Mexico, we found it. Euti, that's the name. Este año, this year, estamos formando tres bancos de tiempo. We're, we're opening three time banks. En Querétaro y otros dos en la Ciudad de México. And two more in Mexico City. Nosotros participamos en el Foro Social Mundial. We participated in this Social World Forum. De economías transformadoras. Of transforming economies. Y el próximo lunes vamos next a Monday, tener nuestra primera charla. We're going to have a first talk. Para echar a andar el banco de tiempo del Foro Social Mundial de Economías Transformadoras. To start the World Social uh, Forum of Economic uh, Transforming Economies. Están cordialmente invitados. You're all more than welcome. Yo le doy a Julio la liga para que por favor la reproduzca y puedan I'll give Julio the link so that he gives it to you and you can join us. En este foro social mundial participan más de 150 países. In this a World Forum, more than 150 countries will participate. Y nos estamos organizando con el tema de economías and transformadoras. And we're organizing on this topic of transforming economies. Es muy importante It's operar important como banco de tiempo to para operate poder a bank to be able to cover expenses que necesitamos, por ejemplo, de that we need. For example, translators. De transporte, de hospedaje, Transportation, de comida, lodging, food. Because the next event will be in Colombia. It will take place in Colombia este in October año. this year. Vamos a ir y estamos buscando formas we'll be there and we're trying to find a way recursos. to get resources. Una de las estrategias son One los bancos de tiempo. One of the strategies are the time banks. Hemos también trabajado con otro tipo de compañeros de ecoaldeanos, que es We've un movimiento with other a nivel internacional también. Ecoaldeanos, which is an international movement as well. Que estamos fundamentalmente preocupados por el tema del cambio climático. We are really concerned about the uh, weather change, global warming. Y estamos impulsando acciones de construcción We are promoting de vida actions amables to build, con el medio ambiente. To build life which is uh, environmentally friendly. Por lo pronto yo lo dejo aquí porque hay mucho que escuchar. This is it for now because there's a lot to listen to. Un abrazo and muy cariñoso so, yeah, desde so excited México. To be here and a big hug for everybody from Mexico.
Fantastic. Thank you. And did you share that invite for Monday? El lunes a la una de México. El lunes va a ser la reunión con los compañeros del Foro Social Mundial okay. a la una. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Gracias, Thank you for Gracias. inviting us. I know, I know, uh, Krista. Krista, I know the, the next bank, the next time bank, I just know the time, the next time bank is the, um, the time bank of the network of women readers of Ecuador, Cecilia okay. Romero. Okay. Cecilia, can you please? Aquí. Ah, Ceci. Hello, Ceci. Hola, Julio. Hola a, Hello, a todas, Julio. a todos. Hello, Saludos everybody. desde Quito, Ecuador. Greetings eh, from Quito, Ecuador. Mi nombre es Cecilia Romero. My name is Cecilia Romero. Soy parte de, part. de la red de I mujeres am, líderes. Of the, Nosotros uh, network of, uh, somos una leader asociación women. We are an association. de de mujeres que básicamente of women that hacemos capacitación para el emprendimiento. Train, train Tenemos tres pilares fundamentales. We have three fundamental Está, pillars. Eh, la capacitación, It's training. First one's crear training. comunidad to y community. las herramientas financieras. Uh, the Dentro de las tools. herramientas financieras tenemos in the, in the financial al tools, Banco del Tiempo. The time bank. Y está también el uso de la moneda social and it's also the use of the social en, currency en dólares, and a la, savings la box in dollars, Ecuador. which is the currency. El Banco del Tiempo, como the Time Bank, parte de las herramientas financieras, as part of the financial nos tools, ha a has helped us que las mujeres emprendedoras has helped that we, puedan acceder women, a, can access a otros servicios que quizás services, son impensables. Like are probably unimaginable. Porque al no tener dólares, por ejemplo... Since we don't, eh, no nos podemos capacitar dollars, we can en, train ourselves en, en ciertas áreas para el emprendimiento. Some specific Pero areas con el tiempo, for con esta moneda, But con el banco del tiempo, sí podemos hacerlo. With a time bank, we will be able to do it. Otra de las eh, cosas también, nos ayuda a mejorar los ingresos. Also, it helps Porque us no to solamente improve estamos our income, manejando los dólares, sino también dollars, eh, estas otras monedas, como el tiempo y la moneda social. Such as time Entonces, and nuestro social sueldo básico se, se incrementa. So basic la red también, eh, tenemos nosotros como parte de, we have, de la asociación o la membresía as part of que this tenemos uh, que as part cumplir, of this association, con horas de, de trabajo comunitario. We, With, Pero estas uh, horas with hours of son valoradas. Eh, these, nosotros uh, valued, integramos al this, balance these hours en dólares so las horas que entregamos to the dollar de trabajo comunitario. Entonces, hours. Así también eh, se valora el trabajo de todas las mujeres dentro so de la organización all the, all the work y, of women y nos the ayuda is valued, uh, también, como les decía, to... acceder a... Access, a capacitaciones y otros servicios and other services eh, que están disponibles en la red. That are available in the network. Creo que hasta ahí he resumido un poquito I think lo que, I have summarized lo que hacemos en a la little red de mujeres. What we do here in this Muchas network. gracias. Thank you so much. Ceci, muchas gracias, Ceci. Um, Thank you so much, Ceci. Krista, voy a presentar Krista, al I'm going to introduce de tiempo, the last time bank presenta la asociación. The, en este the association caso, is presenting. Es el Banco de Tiempo Amica. Uh, this Están is Amica. Están en el norte de España, en Cantabria. They are in the northern part of Spain, Vega, in Cantabria. Y quien nos va a hablar de es Irene de los Ríos. Uh, the person que speaking es Irene de los Ríos, este who is responsible for this Banco de Tiempo de Intercambio de Tiempo the, the, por Capacidades. Interchange Hola, Irene. In, 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 ¿Cómo estás? Time for capacities. Hola. Hi, Irene. En primer lugar, gracias Hi. por la invitación y First, felicidades a todos en este uh, día tan, tan especial y tan feliz. Estamos muy, so muy orgullosos de poder celebrarlo so por segundo año consecutivo en nuestro caso, que in estamos row, in dentro case, de la familia de, uh, de los bancos del tiempo. We are in part, in this, eh, in bueno, part of the eh, para enmarcar eh, oh. nuestro banco del tiempo, 
comentaros que Amica es una asociación I want to de la de Amica is an association in the enfoque comunitario. Eh, no hacemos uh, o no desarrollamos focus. recursos ni proyectos we, para las we, personas we con discapacidad. We develop resources. We don't develop resources for, for people with disability, but we, para la comunidad. But we, we create projects with the people with disabilities Nuestra for the community. Nuestra misión eh, es la misión Our de Amica es descubrir las capacidades que hay en cada persona, discover, uh, apoyándola en las limitaciones, each person, la autonomía, right? el ejercicio de derechos y la participación con responsabilidad en la comunidad para que la community. persona logre ser la so protagonista de su vida y el cambio social necesario. Life and their change. En la búsqueda de in search, buscar soluciones innovadoras para for, promover uh, la participación de personas con discapacidad, pues Amica pensó que los bancos en el tiempo son una banks, herramienta are a tool, muy buena eh, a very good tool, para, para crear red de apoyo to create, uh, e impulsar la participación y el protagonismo de las personas. Of people. <laughs> eh, por esta razón, eh, This is why nuestra aventura empezó en, our adventure, our 2010, journey started en 2019 in 2019 eh, en, a través de un proyecto europeo un through proyecto an, a European Plus, project It en was el que con diferentes países de Europa in, in different, in, in eh, different countries in Europe sociales de diferentes some países entities, de Europa some social entities Portugal, of different countries in Europe Austria, like Portugal, Grecia, Austria, eh, Greek, Greece, Italia Italy, decim decidimos desarrollar uh, un we decided to develop a program para uh, incrementar las, las competencias de las personas uh, para hacer uh, buen uso de los bancos del tiempo. Ya que vimos uh, to work with the time banks, que en nuestra the zona so that we, eh, es muy desconocido y esta herramienta es muy desconocida y todas is, las iniciativas que desarrollaban fracasaban. Entonces creíamos que una herramienta so fundamental es la that, formación uh, very important, uh, tool is que, en la que training. desarrollamos diferentes recursos so para that we que can las personas different resources eh, so that people autoanalicen ¿no? de una forma self muy sencilla identifiquen self cuáles son sus capacidades cuáles son, las are, cuáles son sus necesidades which their necessities y, are, ¿Cómo pueden poner en valor esas capacidades al servicio de la comunidad? In service to the Porque community. partimos de la idea de que todos tenemos capacidades independientemente de nuestras limitaciones Because físicas, cognitivas you know, sociales. Independently, Entonces, apart from eh, our, desarrollamos este uh, proyecto europeo, so este programa this pro this formativo, project, y como this, resultado, uh, educational pues program, nació nuestro Banco del Tiempo, el Banco del Tiempo de Amica, and, al Obviously, que Amica's le hemos bank, puesto como lema intercambio to, de tiempo por capacidad. Hoy en día, bueno, desde el año pasado, bueno, since last, eh, since last nuestro year, banco del tiempo recibe una financiación de, del gobierno de Cantabria, del gobierno de nuestra región. Of the government of Cantabria. Eh, así que, bueno, es una ayuda muy importante para, so para poder dinamizarlo. Se han comprometido con nosotros to porque les ha gustado mucho this. la idea. Pero sobre uh, they, todo, they have, they have committed to us because they like the idea so much. But the, the, the best, the, the thing that they liked the most was our, our innovative no character. Because it is not only about personas, to, put, to, 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 put, to put a price on people's abilities, it is also to create a network una iniciativa uh, the, para toda la so comunidad. It is important y entonces, that eh, we consider or the people with disabilities are the ones people with disabilities are the ones that are la llamamos creating this. Motor y son las que dinamizan el banco de And they are called they are called the engine ¿Vale? team. So they are the entonces, ones that dynamize eh, all this time. Entonces, la forma de dinamizarlo es haciendo so the way to do this informativas sobre qué es to, un banco del tiempo to, 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 to give, uh, eh, para que talks beneficios. like what's, what time bank is, las propias personas what, what it works son las for, que imparten los talleres so people, formativos para ayudar a otras personas a identificar qué pueden this, aportar uh, y qué pueden workshops. necesitar. Y las propias personas son And las que eh, generan eh, material divulgativo o un boletín donde in, están todas las ofertas y demandas uh, para que las personas uh, eh, puedan so conectar entre ellas get e incluso las propias personas eh, porque tenemos un lema eh, que ninguna persona se queda sin ofrecer y sin recibir apoyo y sin, sin dar o sin ofrecer un servicio uh, uh, o sin recibir 
receiving eh, a service or, give, or giving a service because Entonces, of their limitations. Esas personas incluso apoyan so y acompañan a otras personas para, para poder hacer sus intercambios. To be, I mean, to be able ejemplo, to do their interchanges. Eh, si For example, una persona eh, if se desplaza somebody en silla de ruedas, eh, uses a, a wheelchair, y la persona que recibe el intercambio, pues no and se the person that segura, receives an interchange pues is not feeling si lo decide con una persona acompañante que le apoye. Es no feeling safe, so that person can go along with somebody who Entonces, facilitates Entonces, bueno, esa, eh, por daros algunas cifras, so eh, desde el año numbers, pasado, forman parte year, de nuestro banco del tiempo 89 personas. We have 89 eh, members in our personas, time bank. Eh, en este número de personas eh, están personas de la comunidad, ¿no? Que son las people, que nos nutren, nos alimentan, porque si no solo habríamos creado un recurso para personas con discapacidad, si no es así. Eh, hemos logrado crear una red de apoyo, we have been able to create a support network to eliminate stereotypes. Eh, sobre eh, la visión de la discapacidad, about, hemos creado uh, una visión vision, positiva or, or the perspective en la que las personas, uh, we have eh, a todas las personas uh, pueden aportar valor eh, a la comunidad. I mean, can, eh, eh, y bueno, se han hecho pues, 117 intercambios. To the community. We have y done hoy mismo hemos dado una charla por la right mañana we have en una just, librería, morning, we, we, eh, we had en un en una librería, en una librería, en una librería, en una librería, en Normalmente en nuestra un día como hoy me hubiese acompañado alguna persona del grupo motor, pero como hemos tenido mucho trabajo por la mañana, pues han decidido descansar. But since we had a lot of time, a lot of work in the morning, they have decided to take the day off. Así que os enviaré a través del link un par de videos para hechos por el equipo motor para que podáis conocer un poco más, conocer un poco más. So that you can get to know As, mándalo mándalo por el chat si quieres sería muy interesante. Vale. Please send it on the chat. Okay. It will be very Gracias Irene. Gracias Irene. Thank you Irene. Also, falta otro banco de tiempo, Krista. So we, we have another we, time we, bank. We have another time from bank. Brazil, but I don't know if they they are here. But we have a video, no, and we have. I don't know if Adriana is here. Adriana, are you here? No? Well, it's okay. Also, Krista, if you can play the video and I I can read in Spanish the, the text. Okay. Okay. Uh, absolutely. I thank you. I did want to I, I did want to mention um New River Valley, Lisa Garcia um mentioned in the chat, and it's a great idea for you to add uh on the chat um your uh your URL to your time bank. So this way everybody could see where you're from. That's a great idea. Thank you, Lisa. You're amazing. All right, here's the video. El Banco de Tiempo de Florianópolis The Time Bank of Florianapolis was created by a group of people that studied, were studying the documentary Saitai, the movie. La idea era crear un movimiento the idea was to create a, a favor movement mundo más in favor of a more humanized world de amor, in which uh, love, relationships, igualdad, fraternity, equality, respeto, respect were considered priority. La idea de facilitar un banco the idea de of parecía perfecta this time bank was perfect for this purpose. Así nació a finales so, de 2015, at the end of 2015, intercambiando servicios y productos por horas. This in interchange was born. It was a good way to promote uh, interchange meetings and connections Nuestro among the members. Our es motto is the time's life. Paradigma de la escasez contra el paradigma de la abundancia. We were, en seis uh, meses uh, pasamos de alrededor de 300 uh, a 10,000 miembros. We passed from Hoy 300 to 10,000 members. Now we're on Facebook miembros. with 24,000 members. Hubo miles de intercambios There individuales were thousands of individual interchanges, donde los eventos en grupo proporcionan horas extra que van a parar a un fondo de crédito. That ended up in a credit, uh, servicios uh, gratuitos credit como masaje, fund. acupuntura, reiki, so services like clases de idiomas, baile, language classes, postura, dance, etcétera. Uh, knitting, etc. Todos los profesores que reciben horas de este fondo de crédito son miembros uh, del grupo del Banco del Tiempo. 
of the group of the time banks se benefician en un sistema en el que todos ganan in a system in which everybody wins durante la pandemia se suspendieron los intercambios en persona the, y se the, the, the los intercambios in interchanges uh, were, I mean, were stopped and aumentar las conexiones this, uh, online interchanges a started a so we started to register ciudades, people from other cities estados y países y states a permitir and countries por horas. and to interchange Sin and embargo, to permit interchange uh, interchanges per hour and we saw how the connections have falta de cercanía intensified que aporta el contacto cara a cara marcó una the, the lack of uh, closeness is, has por otro uh, lado nuestra presencia en Facebook también well, se ha convertido our presence en un on Facebook has become, in, has, has become a challenge. Now we're in a process that we have uh, del banco de tiempo, to connect the city through the, bank, the time bank, looking forward to well-being, and, uh, sorry, to increasing the number of interchanges and to continue to... Nuestra existencia finita es la vida misma y el tiempo que compartimos unos con otros. And promoting the, the time that we share with, uh, one with, I mean, with each other. I love that. That was beautiful. Thank yeah. you so much. Amazing. Thank you. Well, we have finished it, Krista. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, you very much. With, you finished something with a lot of food, by the way. Can someone <laughs> post the link to that video? Absolutely. And Lucy, what we'll do is we'll, um, we mentioned in the beginning that we're going to share all of these links on our next email that we send out with the recording as well. So thank you. All right. We have, <laughs> who's next, Sarah? Yeah, could we um could we play the video from Korea, Time Bank House in Seoul? I didn't know whether Hiran or um your colleague wanted to say a couple of words of introduction. Sure. Is she here? Yeah, Hiran's there. I can, but you're on mute. I think. Okay. Well, there we go. Well, I'm Hiran. Uh from Executive Director of Time Banks Korea. Uh, we are based in Seoul, Korea. Uh, so nice to see all of you uh, again or for, for the first time. Uh, well, uh, well, celebrating the International Time Banking Day, we are going to introduce a new time bank uh, which is ba also based in, in Seoul. Uh, uh, in a community, uh, but the time bank is run by a well a social welfare center, which is a, a government agency that is mainly focusing on providing social welfare service. Uh, there are about twenty-seven to nine uh, social welfare centers in Korea. Uh, but this is the first social welfare center who tried time banking about a year ago, and they did really, really wonderfully. 
uh, ran the time bank. Very successful story and very uh, interesting, beautiful story. So we want you to listen to uh, the stories uh, uh, introduced that we've been introduced by a team leader, uh, Miss Hyunju Park. Uh, could you son Hamban Turajushileo? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh well the, what is meaningful about this is uh well public welfare service is uh only about giving, so providing services. And the center especially uh, sensed the limitation of the effect that social welfare, government social service uh, is facing. So this center wanted to uh, go beyond the limit and uh, organize the community and bring people's uh, uh, well, participation more strongly to have their their service uh, uh, become more effective. So th that is uh, why they started time banking uh, in the social welfare center. Uh, well, Park Hyun Joo Seng, you want to play a video? Are you ready? Are you ready for me to share the video? Yeah, Krista, are you going to show it? Yeah, okay, yeah. Krista got hand there, this there, yeah. Krista, please play it. Hello, my name is Hyunju. I'm a social worker working at the University of Seoul Social Welfare Center. Thank you to Sarah Sun and Hana Yang who introduced us to time banking and the time banking use. Today, I would like to share Saishong time banking stories. Taishu means connecting neighbors to neighbors. We started time bank in February last year. Currently, the number of members is 119, and the residents contributed a total of 1,373 hours. We made a time bank sign a card to connect neighbors. We asked them about interest, happy moments, something new, something more to them. I have nothing to share. So we did give up. We asked what the residents were interested in. As a result, members who like dogs were connected to walk the sick elderly dogs, and members who like children connected to play the game. Who is it? We asked the elderly who like to care of plants to manage public care vans, and those who to who take the care of the elderly. To cook side dishes for the elderly. Members who like children and keep the ball in our to children. Members who know how to play Korean chess and members who want to learn it who are also connected to our family. There was also harmony between children and the elderly. All those who watch the neighborhood children prepare their one local water gun festivals, make snacks, and play the water bottles. Very grateful for those others, the children serve sandwiches for them again. As well as one-on-one -on -one connections, the number of time bank gathering is also increasing. Meeting, sports nancha, watercolors, and walking gatherings. Members not only learn something, but also become friends with members. I would like to tell you some factors that we consider important regarding time banking. First, by nicknames, not by real names. Nicknames are their one favorite nicknames as a Dory, Chairman Zhang, Actor Lee, Flora Beauty, as well as not. By calling each other by nicknames, they get closer faster and forget their status outside. Second, we vary the co production of finding assets with residents. Through members' day, we find community assets together and, may, and make time to connect with each other. There is important to change the quality of the relationships through time banking. This photo shows the second birthday party in the life of the one, one of the time bank members. 
on that one, so head of innovation is being on. So who moves for stay? And he got second goal stay here. And I would like to introduce two members who have changed through time making. The first case is a person with a nickname called Fifty. She has a disability that the industry actually she got no time back so her neighbor. Fifty is a and wanted to learn Korean and how to make the food. And she said her assets are to help others when they are having a hard time. So so time this is party to learn Korean and the interparty to work together. Fifty was uncomfortable to walk, but she was not worn out. She also picked the woodworking on the whole house. So, what has changed? Now, she is leading new working gathering by acting as a wood maker, and after working hard holding a cane since the accident, she changed and succeeded in working without a cane. She said, at first, she had nothing to share, but she is leading a new gathering. Heart and a great person. If this asset like this are hard to see on the outside. However, as we connected with our neighbors through time banking, assets were divided within the community. The second member to introduce is Sukjun. Sukjun currently has eight and he is a single person household. Sukjun is a work in interior design, several students that isolated. Sukjun, who did not open the door when we first visited the house, <laughs> opened his house to our frequent visits and also appeared in a residence space called Saishio. Sukjun started to find what he could do for himself. After joining Time Bank, he began to be active. He repaired the air conditioner of community center, pressed the wall paper of neighbors, and taught the neighbor kid how to ride a two wheeled bike, and entered the Time Bank to new members. By he knew people who asked him how to play, and he learned knitting, bowling, and table tennis. So, this is of just network before time banking. The relationship has been cut off to the right events, so the social network has only public facilities and part of the family. This is network after time banking. As he became a member of the time bank, he got to know neighbors, shared time with them, and participated in various gatherings. More than 90% of the members of Time Bank know him. Time Banking is a friend to Sukjun for allowing him to find a new world. Through Time Banking, we learned of the opportunity to meet neighbors, to ask for help, to contribute to the community. It's important to everyone. Time Bank is the best social prescription that helps connect to the community. For additional contact, please send me a Thank you so much for sharing. That was amazing. I love the diagram that you have as well. Thank you. Thank you. Sarah, who do we have up next? So we have a few. I'm, I'm, I'm just aware that time is ticking on. Um, how about the youth time banking in Cameroon? Hello, everyone. Can you guys hear me? Yes. I can hear you. <clears throat> I hope my partner, Jerome, <clears throat> excuse me. I hope my partner Jerome is, is also available and can hear because he's gonna be the one that will be helping me and sharing the, the video that I, that I would like to to share with you guys. I'm I'm truly honored uh to be here. I'm connecting from Maryland, but the time banking is um in Cameroon, in Yaoundé, Cameroon, uh, precisely, the capital of Cameroon. And um I was truly, truly, truly honored and blessed to meet. Dr. Uh, Edgar Khan uh, a few months 
before his passing. It was a gift from God, nothing, nothing short of that. Uh, I happened to be one of his nurses and uh, I happened to meet his son, uh, Jonathan, who took a liking of me and just started to share his dad's vision, his dad's mission, his dad's work. And we spent over two hours talking about it. I was just drawn. And for anybody that knows Edgar, <laughs> when you're in his presence, everything stops. It's almost like everything pauses. So I I was just, I, I don't know, I, I, I was just indoctrinated into time banking that very night. And from one thing to the other, I was connected to the amazing, amazing Chris Gray, and uh, who also connected me to the invaluable, truly invaluable um, Jerome Scripturianus. And um, from one thing to the, to the other, uh, I had the, the amazing uh, privilege to start a time banking, uh, uh, youth time banking in my home country, Cameroon. Um, I had been very fortunate. I've been in the U.S. since 2001, so that makes it 23 years. And I realized uh, that it had been a privilege for me to be here and to uh, to learn, to go to school the way I went in, because it was not given to many people in my country, in my neighborhood, in my community. I knew deep inside that it was a privilege. And I, I somehow just knew that I needed to do something to give back. And I, I had that drive, but I just didn't know how. I didn't know what to do, but God was just faithful. And by meeting Edgar and Jonathan and being introduced to time banking, I'm just gonna use the word of a very great activist, uh, Miss um, the late Jean Kemper Ken, because I can just identify with what she said this is what she said. She said, I was being given an education a lot more than most of my people will ever see. And as I was expected to do something for them, this is what I feel deep inside that everything that I was given, the privilege that I was given to study here, to earn a PhD, this is not something that many people in my community can, can ever dream of. And I just know that I needed to do something to, to give back to that community. So. I enlisted my two younger sisters who are still in Cameroon. And of course I fed them the vision and they just like me, they were just, they just, just bought it and bought into it. And we started working and uh, today we were able to now uh, find the space, find an office, refurbish the office, clean it, uh, arrange it with an amazing group of young, young people um, and then create a store. I organized and mobilized here friends and family and I told them and I shared a vision with them and I received tons of donations and when I say tons, Americans are just amazing. As soon as they heard what I was trying to do, everybody wanted to pitch in, everybody wanted to donate something and they just saw what I was trying to do as something that was great. They were all shocked that they didn't hear about, you know, they had not heard about time banking before but um, they, they wanted to take part. Everybody just wanted to be a part of this great vision. So uh, last year I was able to collect a lot of items, thousands of books. I mean, when I say thousands, thousands of books, uh, Cameroon happened to be a bilingual country. So uh, they can read uh, books that are sent here from English and literacy is a problem because of the lack of means. People cannot always provide just extra books for kids to, to read and to enjoy, to grow. So um, I was able to collect those books also, every everything else that people could donate, I was telling them there's nothing. Anything that you think can bless, don't don't even hesitate because they don't have. So you cannot say, oh, maybe you know this is not appropriate. Anything that you're willing to share, they will be grateful. So I collected shoes and I collected purses and bags and clothes for children and adults and everything in between and just anything that people would donate that was still in you know in great uh, uh, standing. We were able to collect and we found this amazing uh, Cameroonian also who had a shipping company and just like me from my neighborhood I never knew him before until I started looking for how I was going to ship these items that also wanted to give back to the community he had the same vision it was like I want to give back because I'm here I'm working uh, I'm an IT consultant and I just know that it was a blessing for me to be here and I want to also give back to the community, but I didn't know how. So of course I talked to him about time banking and he loved the idea, joined me into this vision and helped me uh, at a very great rate. 
to carry all these things back to Yaoundé, dropped up at the office, the youth put them together. You'll be able to see it in the video. They, they organized the stove very nicely. Um, we put it all up to, and then we had our open house and the kids came and they, they, they were able to uh, to really learn about what youth time banking uh, is, you know, what it represents. And we were able to tell, to share with them, youth are giving and receiving because we're trying to get them to connect with the community and to pay it forward. And then youth are assets, they are resources and they are energy because it's a community vision. So they are getting it, they are understanding it. They are still familiar with the old battery system where you can just exchange services. So they understand that there is okay for, for services to be exchanged without having to discuss currency the way we know it. So uh, we were able to then um, have a few workshop where they participated and collaborated. There was one where we, the youth learned how to make hats. They loved it. You'll be able to see in the pictures. And then one of them also knew how to uh, to make liquid soap, all-purpose soap that you can use to wash your hands, wash the floors, your clothes, and anything. It's not just the, uh, not the, uh, use on your body, but anything in the house that you need to wash dishes and all whatnot. And they were truly, truly, truly just amazed that they could learn this skill because for one, they learned a skill that they can now use to make to be independent and self-sufficient, but also it gives them the opportunity to use it as a means to sustain themselves. Because you know, uh, there is a great dis uh, disparity now in Cameroon. Uh, the, the lack of resources has made uh, youth members not even consider education the way they used to because they see their loved one, they see their parents and the older adults who have graduated from high school, from, from college, and they don't they can find a job. So or they don't have a way to provide for their family. And this exposed them to vices and expose them to you know prostitution and gangs and even child labor. So this now youth time banking is bringing them something new, is bringing something new to the community where they're realizing that they can do something among themselves to strengthen the community and they have resources. We are all gifted, no throw away people. We are all gifted. We all bring something to the table. We can all contribute. So we are encouraging them to share their talent, to share their knowledge so that they can all learn from each other and help each other and strengthen the community. They went uh, one another workshop that they did. They went and visited the hospital, uh, a, lo a local clinic. They were able to to talk with the to the patients that were there and and bring some of the liquid soap that they they manufactured because they also put their label on the soap bottles and just share with them what they were doing. So they are getting involved and they are just thinking outside of the box and not just about themselves. And they are seeing that they are able to contribute to the community where they live in. So it's been such a privilege for us to to be able to bring time banking all the way to Africa, to Cameroon. And I know Yaoundé is just the beginning. The Really, we, we, we are hoping and praying that we get the opportunity to go further into other cities and other neighborhoods as they see what's happening in Yaoundé. So Jerome, if you are available, can you please share our little clip so that they can see what yeah. we're doing in Cameroon? Yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, Krista, do you have it lined up? I Thank do. you.
They're over 45. They're over 45. Or pre diabetes. diabetes. So, just in case so anybody is wondering, wondering how the stuff works. works, so basically, so because, because the youth are starting with, 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 I'm sorry for the sorry for the youth, the youth are starting, youth are starting with, with absolutely, absolutely no resources, resources uh, per, uh, per se, se to give except for their knowledge. knowledge. The store, the store is there to, there to be like the bank. Like the bank. That's like, that's like I'm, banking. I'm banking. So the store, so the is, store the bank, is the bank giving the giving an opportunity, opportity for the exchange, the exchange to, take to take place. place. So, basically, so basically, the, the youth, youth members will be taking will be place, place in activity, in activity uh, uh, workshop, workshop, and they and get, they get credit, credit the time, the time that they have spent in, in that uh, 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 trade or visiting the sick in the hospital or anything else anything that else they'll be doing. doing. And that and credit, that now credit they can redeem it with items at the store. So the goal so was the goal to start to the start store the with store items that items have been donated, have donated, but now to encourage now to, encourage the the to use the trade, the knowledge, the ability to 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 create more create products, more products that, will now that will now be in the store, the store will be their own. Their own. Just like Just the like liquid soap, soap, the hats, the hats so those are things that they made themselves. themselves. So the store is going to be transformed into more and more, more, and more items, items that they have them. made with our label that it can be proud of. And also they will be able to exchange other uh, other resources like uh hair braiding for example there can be a session where you remember just decide okay today everybody's hair is being braided and they get credit for that and exchange it among themselves without anything from the store per se so that's how the store is working so that's to get them started so that they can understand it and really get involved and then we can grow and i'm willing to take any questions of course Well, we have a couple of um, other people that wanted to share their story. I believe uh, Morris, and then we have up next Jerome, Stephanie, and Mike. Well, I'm 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 good to okay. yield my time, uh, Krista, in support of Elise, and let the others uh, talk. Sure, sure. <clears throat> How about Morris? Are you there? Would you like to share? We have your video up too. Well, I don't know about a video. Do I have a video? <laughs> you have a Baltimore video? Oh, well, um, yes. Um, okay, we, so, you can just share with us what, whatever. Uh, so, let me, yes, let me do that and do it quickly. So I am Morris Fountain. I want to say greetings to everyone participating and a happy 89th birthday to our Dr. Edgar Kahn. Uh, my subject is paying it forward with a food bank. And what I would like to do is to say everything else that I'm going to say is on my LinkedIn, including that video from 2001. And so if someone is interested, write my name down if it's on the screen, Morris Fountain. Um, it's in my LinkedIn experience in the year 2005 to 2007. And all the rest that I have to say about paying it forward and the, the trailer for the movie Paying It Forward that I saw in 2001, the Time Bank video with Baltimore Housing Authority was produced and funded by the, well, it was funded by the Annie E. Casey Foundation, produced in 2001 uh, when. HUD had made it national policy around 1998 or 99 that every resident of public housing had to do eight hours of community service. And so what we're talking about is getting the food bank to understand what I want you to understand, the concept of paying it forward so that they will share the hours that public housing residents have done at the food bank, which can be up to eight hours a month, shared back to fuel the food bank, I'm sorry, the time bank in their public housing neighborhood. So it will look like some of the video of time banking being done by Baltimore Housing Authority in 2001. So that's jumping all around, but time is short. 
And um, so I'd ask you to write my name down. You can find all of my script. And if there's another way to share it, that's fine. Last thing, the last time I was in this kind of gathering was August 3rd, 2014, Providence, Rhode Island. And folks were there from all over the world, UK for sure. But what's important is what Edgar said, said when he introduced me. Um, because if you, we've talked about if you've been alone with Edgar, well, he said it publicly. So please write down this, Morris demonstrates tenacity. I haven't been with you in 10 years, but time banks never left me and it will not leave me until I get done the vision that I received the first time I met Edgar in 2005. And that is 20,000 time banks, independent time banks in the Houston area time banks network that are independent, but interdependent. That's all. Thank you, Morris. It's so nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. I'm with you in spirit always. <laughs> Likewise. Well, um, Stephanie, did you wanna share your slide? And then we have uh, Tony and Mike, and I believe um, we have more stories, of course, but um, we're, we're out of time, but we just wanted to make sure we squeeze a couple more before we go. And again, whatever stories that we've received um, that haven't been able to share, that we haven't been able to share, I'm happy to share that as well through an email that we're sending out next week with our mission moment. So be sure you are on our list. Um, if not, add your email address and we can go ahead and share those to you. Thank you. Go ahead, Stephanie. Hi, I'm going to try to be super quick. Thank you. Um, so I, uh, we were DaneCountyTimeBank.org, and now we're MadisonMutualAidNetwork.coop um, and Humans United and Mutual Aid Networks, and basically aiming to connect time banking more explicitly with other cooperative economic functions. Um, actually, it sounds very similar to what a lot of people do naturally. Um, when Stacey was presenting about Ecuador, we so we do time banking, it's like the beating heart of mutual aid networks, but then we're building up the governance, we're a cooperative. Um, we also are creating pools of money for when, when we need bank money um, and other forms of mutual credit and then sharing learning and practice. And so we welcome everyone to participate and it's um, a matter of making the time banking piece explicitly valued in its very important role in the economy and then governing ourselves and um, working toward creating more abundance. So uh, connecting a variety of cooperative economic people and players and making a neighborly global economy together. I want to invite you to participate in any way you ever want to. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. Is uh, Tony here? Yes, I'm here. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I have a, a little slideshow. Let me see uh, if I can get this running from the beginning. Um, so I'm going to introduce a little bit of history and uh, raising the value of learning and knowledge is power. These concepts uh, are a presentation of several articles and PowerPoints, which I've condensed into just a short synopsis today from a guy by the name of Jeff Thomas. So this is a homage to Jeff Thomas. Jeff is the founder of the Wells Institute of Time Currency which I met uh, in the 2014 uh, Rhode Island uh, Time Bank Conference. So let's see. Here's a picture of uh, me and Jeff and Stephanie from 2014. Um, 
Again, he uh, was very influential in Wells. The, one of the first programs was called SPICE. What's, what is a SPICE? SPICE is a, a time hour, a time credit. And um, the SPICE, the Wells Institute for Community Currency was awarded the UK uh, Best Organizing uh, Practice in all of the UK back, I don't even know what the date was. Uh, Martin, who's here, might know what that uh, date was when they got awarded. SPICE was so influential uh, in the one, two, three communities that Edgar started. It spread throughout Wales and then it spread into the uh, United Kingdom. So I bring this up because of uh, Jeff's influence on time banking in the UK. Okay, let's move along. Uh, the the point of one of the things that he he had several websites, uh, several programs, but uh, one of his papers was uh, lifelong learning by the application of time currency to community learning activities. Why? To explore new ways of building learning networks to assess the development of a learning culture within the wider regeneration strategies, which gets to uh, what we've been talking about here and uh, sort of the um, the secret sauce. Uh, Edgar introduced me to this word uh, years and years ago. I, he said, what we're doing in time banking is we're creating a paradigm shift. I said, what in the world is a paradigm shift? Well, uh, simply put is we, Edgar's ideas of, of approaching uh, people as assets, and as you know, the quote, the familiar quote, we have what we need if we use what we have. So that's a paradigm shift. Another way of seeing a paradigm shift is to realize that lifelong learning is, is, a, is a paradigm shift where we need to move to, that learning and development occurs in social interaction, occurs when time banking uh, hours and uh, work and reciprocity is exchanged. And I found a... Um, Slides are not advancing. Pardon me? Slides are not advancing. Oh, my slides are not advancing. Okay, let's get back to uh, this one. Uh, let's see if I can make it come up big. So uh, Jeff's... Uh, Paradigm shift. The paradigm shift is to move from passive engagement to uh, being a, uh, an active uh, player in, in your community, from being staff leading you to be an active citizen in your community, from being the beneficiary of a service to being a co-producer and a partner with the uh, agencies and government and social service providers that are in your community, from being a client to a member, from being an individual to practicing uh, the consciousness of mutualism. Um, so the learning network players pool commitments together as lifelong learning offers and needs. Every hour puts into practice principles of social justice. I know I'm preaching to the choir, right? So the last slide here is a learning network is made up of four player categories, which are here in the uh, tan rectangle. The learners, individuals, the brokers that bring people together, the contractors. Generally, this is in the parallel a federal economy or national fiat economy. And the last square is the facilitators that organize and uh, convene uh, learning events. And what I have here is, is a link uh, to a, uh, a chart on uh, Google Drive where people can put in their learning uh, requests, their learning brokers can put in their uh, brokering uh, assets. In other words, we're creating a a, a pool of uh, offers and requests, but the offers and requests are about teaching and learning, about uh, coaching and being a player. And uh, if you want to know more about, we're practicing a sandbox or a playground of this new uh, it's not new, it's an old way, but this sort of particular special way of uh, exchanging and documenting hours. Get in touch with me. Thank you so much.
<laughs> Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Sorry right. about the slides. It's okay. We're all in this together. Fantastic. So we have Mike. Hello. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Uh, sorry, I had my camera on and off for part of it. I was uh, cooking breakfast and uh, trying to quickly do some chores, but I could hear everything thanks to the wonderful technology of wireless headphones. Ah, it, I am uh, I am pleased to see so many people here today. Um, I'm sharing a uh, slightly different story. Um, some of you uh, are already privy to the exciting new project, um, but for some of you, this will be new and exciting, and I hope you're just as excited about it as we are. Uh, Timebanks.org is officially launching its own podcast series. Let there be fanfare! Woo-hoo! <laughs> Excellent. And um, the first episode will be provided um, to you shortly. Uh, we would love to hear your feedback. We would love to hear um, if anybody is interested in sharing their stories. Um, there will be a podcast, uh, a Time Banks podcast email that you can solicit for that. Um, we are very much looking uh, looking forward to growing this. Um, as all of you know, podcasts are you know uh, they have been the new way people get their news for quite some time. Um, I am the, I'm a professional voice actor by trade, and I've been doing audio engineering for the last 10 years because it was easier for me to learn how to do it myself rather than, you know, pay somebody else to do it because, well, actor's salary, we uh, live off of sandwiches and uh, smiles. So, um, that being said, I am uh, an accomplished audio engineer, and um, Krista and the gang reached out to me, um, this has been in talks for a few months now and um we are starting we're launching the exciting series with uh uh chris and joe's uh tour across the u.s and that is our uh the core of our first and second episode and we we look forward to getting to share the message of what time banking is how time banking works the more independent stories we have from uh the people around us we really think will help time banks grow because there's a lot of people who are they've heard about it they're not quite sure how it works uh but hey there's a podcast about it um for those in the u.s um andrew yang the presidential candidate his book mentions time banking and how powerful he thinks community currencies are and i'm not gonna lie he's one of my targets to talk to on the podcast it might take some time though ah so that is, uh, that is all I had to share. We look forward to uh, sharing the first episode with you, sharing the contact info with you. And, um, and then after the first episode comes out on the Time Banks website, we will be uploading it to um, other, uh, other sites where people get their podcasts. That's just something we need to hammer out. Uh, and yeah, that's it from me. Thank you all very much. Mike brings new life to our organization, as you can tell. <laughs> we're proud to have you. Thanks, Mike. Well, Sarah, I think we're... My pleasure. We're closing up. We're ready? I think we are. I think there was a couple of videos, um, but I think maybe we could um, we could share that afterwards. We could share links to those videos that we didn't have time to show. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. I think, I think yeah, we're... Time's up. <laughs> Well, I wish we could do this at least twice a year because we have so much to share. And I think that this is just going to get bigger and bigger and just more countries joining in. And I'm just so appreciative of all of you that um, shared your what's going on in your worlds and your community. And I'm just incredibly in awe and inspired by all of you. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your smiles and your kindness. I share the story about the time banking uh, in uh, India where um, even a 11th month old can give time. And I think that is just so valuable that all of us have something to offer and share. So thank you. Thank you for those videos too. But all in all, I think we're good. Thanks for joining us. Everyone, love you to Take see you. Take care, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye.
Thank you. This has been amazing. Bye bye. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you.